Welcome back friends. Today we're going to paint a fire hot gill on one of these Halo Chrome D7s. <clears throat> it's a pretty effective walleye pattern. Fairly simple to paint. We'll just start out with a little bit of white, kind of covering up the belly and the top. And I'm going to heat set that. And let's give that one more coat. I'll rinse out our airbrush. And our next color is a Wicked Gold. It's a Wicked color from Wicked Colors. And I want to paint the belly from the back of the bait up to the hook hanger. Let it come up the sides a little bit. I want to paint the gill plates with this. Rinse the brush out. And our next color is another wicked color. It's a wicked orange. Just want to paint the throat and the belly with this.
and I'll rinse the brush out. And our next color is Wicked Pearl Red. And I'm just going to paint the right down the spine. Let it come down just a little bit. But we do want to leave some of that chrome. I'll heat set this. I'm going to put just a couple drops of opaque red in the brush. I'm going to come over the top of that pearl red. Like that. Okay. Heat set again. Add just a couple drops of pearl black. I'm sorry, opaque black. real low pressure. I'm going to do the eye sockets. Come up on the nose a little bit. And I'll heat set real quick. Take just a little piece of paper towel, kind of wipe this unpainted chrome area. Try to have as much of that show as we can. Like that. This was this homemade stencil that I cut out of the piece of paper for the bluegill. We're going to use it for the gill flap on this. If I can get it to cooperate. There we go. Turn it over and do the other side.
está. Now heat set that. Put just a little drop of opaque red on a piece of scrap paper. And in the the bluegill video, I used an old ballpoint pen to make a dot. This I found in the dollar store. I don't know what it is, but it says it's a cake decorating tool. So I'm going to use it, put a little red dot right there, I'll turn it over, try to get a dot in the same place on the other side, and I'm going to heat set this. get rid of this and I want to do one other thing on this I want to add a little glitter and the way I'm gonna do that because I can't really do it in my top coat when you when I use the KBS because I don't want glitter in my KBS so what I do is I use the Createx gloss top coat. It dries clear. I'm going to add just two or three drops. Doesn't take very much. In about the smallest little container you can find. If you can just find a little small cap. It seems to work pretty good. And then in one of these, I'm going to add just a little bit of gold. This is extra fine glitter that I bought at Walmart. Doesn't take very much, a little bit will go a long ways. In the other one, I'm going to add some red glitter. Just a little, little watercolor artist paint brush, kind of mix that up. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit with the brush. Doesn't take very much. A little bit of glitter goes a long ways. And I'm just going to put the red glitter. On top of our red paint. I've got just a little bit here where I don't want it. So I'm going to wipe it off with a Q-tip. Uh, 
I think that's enough red. So let's add a little bit of this gold. Put a little bit up here on these gill plates. Put some red eyes in this. And that is our fire hot gill on a D7 Halo Chrome. I'll give it a coat of clear coat and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Happy painting, happy fishing. Thank you for watching.